hello everybody this is pj and today i'm going to show you how you can run php in visual studio code uh, i was looking to test some code in visual studio code directly and i came across this stack overflow topic on how to run or debug php on visual studio code and there's a snippet here uh, that you need to add to your visual studio code and so you need to copy this and then in your visual studio code go to settings and then search for launch and then edit in global settings so i already have this code here but you probably won't have anything or just empty strings so what you copied from here you need to paste um, in here like this and then just save it uh, one other thing you may need is a plugin uh, php debug i'm using this specific one maybe maybe you can use different one i don't know but i'm using this one so now once you've added this code to settings and install this plugin when you create php file i'm not sure if you can if you have to save it let's try without first so what you need to do i'm on the mac but i think it should work the same on windows i'm pressing f5 yeah actually it prompts me to save it so i'm gonna save it now so i saved the file now and now i'm pressing again f5 on a mac and if you see nothing nothing comes up when you when you do it you just need to go to terminal and go to new terminal and debug console and then you should be able to see the output uh, in here let's just check it again okay and that's how you can run your any php code in visual studio code there's another way you can you could run this code if you go not to debug console but to terminal and then to navigate to your to the path where the file is you should be able to just run php test php and it should do the same by thing having in as part of um, visual studio code functionality and pressing f5 it's more convenient that is it if you have any other ways of running php maybe a better way in visual studio code let me know in the comments otherwise thank you for watching and see you again in the next video bye bye